What's up guys, Goat Rodeo Gaming here with a special video. We got a Trains Railroad Simulator 2022. Was able to be selected for some early access to this for some game testing and I just want to make a little video about it. I have played Trains Simulator 12, Trains A New Era, Trains A New Era being my favorite and uh, yeah, really looking forward to getting into this. So we are in Kickstarter County, which has been on since Trains of New Era. Now, important to note, um, I haven't played since Trains of New Era. That was the newest game I played of theirs. So I think this will be interesting to see if there's really been any major changes since Trains of New Era. So let's dig into it. Uh, overall, the graphics are definitely better now. I still have some settings I need to play around with on the computer, so I wouldn't take these graphics as how they really are. There's four different settings you could choose for graphics, low, medium, high, and ultra. I picked high and uh, because I don't have like the best gaming computer. It's not bad, but the graphics can certainly be tuned so it's way more realistic like you might have seen in other videos. As you can see, the textures are kind of they're developing as we're going. so. I wouldn't be overly concerned with that. Take a look at the signals. Signals definitely look better than in the past. They looked quite uh, toyish before where these look like pretty legitimate uh, searchlight signals. See the industries have a lot more uh, detail right off the bat. So Basically, what I want to do first is check out like the rolling stock, the graphics, the buildings, and just see kind of what comes with the base game. Because Trains 12 and Trains of New Era were very similar. There was some definite some improvements for Trains of New Era compared to 12, but I didn't feel like it warranted a new game completely, maybe, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm kind of looking for here is... Does this th is this game new on its own, or should I just stick with Trains of New Era, which I've done until this point? I, the overall, though, um, so far the track definitely looks a lot better. I mean, you can even see the reflection off the rail. That's pretty cool. The ties, the gravel, ballast, whatever you want to call it, um, can definitely tell people much better. But there are some assets that have probably been around for like 10 years in this series. Like I said, signals, signboards, those all look good. Point motors. Yeah, definitely dig those. Those look a lot better. So I'm just going to kind of tool around, check it out. This is actually a jointed rails, I think free DLC right here. That looks good. So yeah. Digging this building. That's a cool looking building. It looks good. Good texture. So I'm seeing so far is definitely an improvement. So let's see what they got when it comes to the equipment. And if there's any difference. Custom box cars. Let's see here. The route is locked. Alright. Cancel. I'm still kind of feeling my way around, so bear with me. Um, so does that mean we cannot place these cars? I think it does. Hmm. All right. We might just have to uh, go to a custom surveyor, lay some track, and check it out. So let's let's look at some other things first. Switch stands, everything seems to be pretty similar, but just a major graphic improvement. This is from the last game. Got some industries, interactive industry. These buildings look pretty good. I like these silos right here, that looks pretty good. How about the roundhouse? This roundhouse has been built in the game for a while. The rails are still like from trains 2009 or whatever it was called so that's kind of you know I feel like we need to 
improve the assets, not just some of them, but all of them. That's a neat building right there. Old barn, tin roof. Truck, yeah, that looks better. And then we're going to go over here to the refinery. Definitely improved, much more realistic looking than before. Even the metal on the ground, the tires, building, barrels. You got these logs right here. Cut in half logs. The lighting too, if you look at the shadows. The shadows is uh, much more realistic. So I like that. Alright, so let's jump out of this and go to a surveyor with a plane map. So you got all these different maps. I think this comes with the game. Okay, so all we have to do is download it. That's cool. In the meantime, let's create a route so we can check out what we got here. We'll keep it uh, Imperial because uh, in the US, new route. All right, let's go to track. Tiers 19 track. I remember how to play the game. That's impressive. So even this track looks looks pretty decent. Let's see what else they got. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I played this game for making my own routes. That to me was the fun of it. Um, we're going to probably get into the physics of the game to see if there's any changes to the physics in a different video. Today we're just doing the basics. Yeah, digging this track, you can tell it's still not so clear, but it's it's much improved. And I really dig that this comes with the Warren Trust Bridge. This has probably been the same forever. Yeah, pretty close. It looks a little better. I'll give it that. Yeah. It looks good. Uh, let's see. Tain. So they got the old school track from Trains of New Era. I definitely remember this stuff. Sorry, this is very sensitive, so I'm kind of bouncing around. Sap. I used to like to. I used to like to use them. It's improved a little bit. Jr. Let's try this. Yeah, that looks good. I'm pretty pleased with how the track looks. Alright, well let's go to the trains. Let's not keep you guys waiting around. Let's see, will it let me place it this time? Yes, it will. Definitely more realistic looking cars just from this one. I'm trying to remember if... Let's see. Hmm. Something going on there. There it goes. CV GP9. Yeah, that looks nice. It's even got a crew inside. Definitely improved graphics when it comes to that. Let's start all the way at the top and work our way down. 50 footer. Yeah, that looks good. We got tank cars. Yep. Yeah, like it. So far, so good. Oh man, yeah, that hopper. Hopper looks pretty mint. My wife loves that word. Not really. Let's check out these units. Um, let's go down here and we'll start doing the locomotives. So something to note that this unit's been in the game since like Trains 12, I believe, along with the C30. So these are the types of things I'm saying where it's like, you know, I want to see some some more stuff but what I do like is they have improved the graphics tremendously so even though it's the same I'd probably let it pass just because how good they look I mean look at the trucks that's that's pretty great so, so far so good guys Oh, uh, let's see. Rotary gondola. I'm going to try to keep the cars and the locomotive separate. 
Okay, I've seen these before. Not too many though out where I worked on the UP. That that looks pretty darn good. I'm I like how they got some 50 footers in here. It seemed like on the on Trains of New Era they had a lot of old style cars. Insufficient space. I figured. Insufficient space. Let's put it on the bridge, huh? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Bulkhead. Yep, I'm digging that. We got some of the older cars for sure. But even they have been kind of revamped. You can tell the trucks are kind of older, but it does look better than Trains of New Era. Like, that still looks good enough to me to use in this game. It's sufficient space. I gotta lay more track. Yeah, that looks real good. Got a cylindrical hopper. I remember this one. Um, why don't I make this easier myself? And we'll just lay a big track, and we'll just make our way down the list, and we'll see what we got. So far, editor's running really smooth. So I'm happy with that. It's not laggy or anything like that. It's just a little bit sensitive. All right, let's go back to the rolling stock. Oh, here's some new stuff. CN. Yeah, that looks good, man. That looks really good. Graphics are a lot better. I mean, I'm sure I keep saying it, but it's true. Yep. And we got an SD40. Yeah, look at that. You got the the grime, the dirt towards the bottom. Like I said earlier, the shadowing is great. Now we got the CN rotary, CN box cars. Uh, regular former is it Illinois Central? Yep, digging that. SD90. These are junk in real life, but it looks pretty good in this game. More cars. Seen plenty of these in my day. Huh? We got some CSX. Had a few of these at one point on my trains. That's why too. So these are the different paint schemes. More modern paint scheme now. I got some GP thirty eights. GP forty. This was on the last game as well, but graphics look pretty awesome. Here's some of the older box cars that came on Trains of New Era. I keep saying last game, what I mean is Trains of New Era, so um, let's see. Oh, they got the steam engine from Trains of New Era. Let's place this down first. And then this. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I mean, just look at the lighting when you're moving around with the sun. Yeah. Plenty of boxcars, which I like, because there's such a variety of boxcars in real life. I mean, jeez. Oh, yeah. Gotta like these old hoppers, too. Definitely like those. I wasn't a big... Uh, I know there's a lot of people that like certain rolling stock out there. I was never that way when I was on the railroad, but I can respect. I like some of the older equipment. So we got some more GP9s. Got the GT Grand Trunk. Yeah, look at the top of that. That's nice. So like I said, some of these could have been in, uh, what was it, Trains 19 was the last game technically. And I wouldn't know that. But so far, I'm very happy with what they got so far. You got to have these, and that looks good. That looks real good. I believe these were in the last game. So... Not sure what's going on with the GP40 though. The nose seems a little disproportionate to real life. But hey, whatever. So 
So what I'm seeing is, is a lot of free DLC from Jointed Rails that are in this game. But that's good. I like that. The SP Tunnel Motors. Gotta love those. And it definitely looks like it's been improved before. They look like they're brand new. They still look pretty good, but you can see a bit of a difference. Let's see what this SD45 looks like. Oh yeah, you can tell there's some there's a little bit of weathering compared to before. I like that. Steel heavyweights. They still look pretty basic, but better that's been improved let's see we're almost towards the end of the list here we got some 60 foot cars yeah I like that graffiti looks pretty sweet got some uh, flat cars just some European stuff I won't cover that today because I I'm American. I'm sorry, I've just never been interested in the European stuff. And it looks like we ran out of track, but we'll go over here. Overall, yeah. Uh I like what I see. So let's do another little test here. I want to see if they improved some of the sounds of the locomotives. To me, that's a big thing. The tunnel motor, or the SD40s in particular, not a big fan of their sounds. The way they come in the in train, or uh, yeah, trains a new era. Wasn't a big fan. While we're at it, test the uh, track lane. Yeah, it's running smooth. I like it. Let's try switch. Out that way. I probably spent well over a thousand hours in Trains of New Era, so pretty familiar with how that surveyor worked. Built the whole West Colton Rail Yard at one point. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to place a SP tunnel motor and we're going to see what it sounds like, what the cab looks like. I actually went way past it. How'd I do that? How'd I do that? Alright. Um, let's see here. This menu's new. New route. How do we get into... This is the game. Show interface... That's the one thing I forget is how to jump in. <laughs> Drive session. Alright, so then what do I do now? Okay, so this is new. This is new. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff down here. Let's see. Sand. Reverse. Okay, I like that feature. Because a lot of times it was kind of a pain. Alright, now we're paused at the moment. So where is the play button? Got that. There's different modes. That's cool. Apologize if I'm kind of uh, jumbling around. This interface is brand new. All I need to do is figure out how to unpause. Probably a million people watching, like, hey, it's right there, and it probably is. I'm just not seeing it. Click on this at all? No. Let's get 
the lights. Nice. Hold control, right click. Ah, drive the train, but there, there, there. I just want to pause the game, man. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I'm not seeing it. What's going on? There we go. Got some smoke. Definitely a fair amount for an old tunnel motor. Let's see here. It's better. Rough handling. Oh no. Let's see, is there any wheel slip? One thing I, uh, the sound hasn't changed and it gets quieter, it seems like, than when it's actually uh, idling, which that's kind of funny. Well, the cab looks pretty nice. I must say. Pretty good view. Let's see. Um, I used to play this on the realistic controls. I wonder if we could switch it to that. But overall, inside looks nice. Roaming. All right. Let's go over here. I wonder if there's a way you could shut this thing down. I don't think so. Yeah, these sound the same, which is alright. Okay, let's go down to the newer units that we know is new with the game. CP units sound pretty good. Typical SD40. They just the SD40s do not have that rumbling sound. Oh, roll, 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 roll. And when they get up to uh, run eight, they are loud, man. They howl. Does this thing have a GE sound to it? Alright, well, 
No changes to the sounds of the locomotive. Exit driver, don't save. Whoops, we backed all the way out. All right, well, let's jump back in. Like I said, filming around here. What are you going to do? I'm not the most incredible gamer on the planet as it is. As I uh, take a bite of some food. Let's go to the objects. Let's see what we got going on here. Definitely better. Yeah, you, you can see more detail than before. So what? So far, what I'm seeing, guys, is um, you're definitely getting a new game. Better graphics. There's definitely more vehicles. But there's a lot of the stuff that's been in this game for a long time as well, which is fine. That's kind of part of it, right? I'm glad that they keep the older stuff. And they kind of keep building on top of it. That, looks, that doesn't look too bad. Better than some of the buildings on uh, Trains of New Era, that's for sure. Let's check out some warehouses. Waterfall sampling, huh? That looks a little cheesy, sorry. On a water tank. Yeah, that's that's more of your trains twelve. Right there. Water towers. That looks pretty good. I got some crossing. Stop! I remember these from Trains 12, same thing, which is fine. Um, yep, same as before. I'm sure there's plenty of buildings in here that have gone under some pretty big changes. Let's see if we can uh, go up and see if we can find something more specific. Power crane looks pretty good. To me, this this is where this game is legit. Is uh, this is why I play for? I want to make stuff. I can't speak for the physics yet. I haven't tried them. Even the oh, you can walk around now. How about that? Okay, that's a feature I really like. Oh, camera! Der, der, der. How do I get out of walking? That's the part. Oh, you just zoom out. Okay. Big fan of that. Big fan of that. Feel like it's important to see things close up if you. Uh, making a custom map. Cool, cool. Some old ties. That looks really cool. How about the power station? This thing's been in this game for some time. Uh, pretty much the same. A little better. Definitely some better graphics. So let's see if uh, that Moffat Tunnel route loaded. I want to go on there. Maybe we can just jump in and test out some physics while we're at it. Oil refinery. Okay. Here, here's a good one. Oh, yeah. That looks real good. I like that. Yep. Nice. Old warehouse. Yep. All right, yeah, they definitely um, revamped it, no doubt about that. So let's jump out, 
Let's see if we can uh it's not done downloading. Got the UP, but we don't got any UP equipment. Alright, so it didn't download all the way. So we'll go back. Let's see, you gotta download that one. Well, at least it comes with some more routes. I feel like that's a bonus. All right, let's see, view sessions. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this one, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Comment what you guys think. Um, like I said, haven't uh, played 19 myself, so for all I know, most of the stuff could be uh, from 19, and it's not really a new game. It's they might be focusing more on um, the whole multiplayer thing for this game. For all I know, all right. Horn's kind of cheesy, I'm not gonna lie. A whole lot of noise in this roundhouse, oh my goodness. One thing I'm noticing is that, uh, at least light power, the physics are definitely more realistic when it comes to the accelerating. It's taking, like if I were to go like this, it doesn't just start flying like it did before, I felt like. I wouldn't say it slows down very uh, quickly either. So we'll go to the right. I like the bell. Dim headlight in the yard. Let's get away from those other units so I can hear myself. Holy cow. So typically in yards, you're 10 miles an hour, unless there's like a superintendent change. So that's good. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to ignore what they want me to do. I'm going to go in here and test out some of the physics when it comes to trying to break the train in half. I like how you can click off. It's pretty nice. I might have been featured before, I don't remember. So let's see what we got here. We'll probably probably go into that track with the box cars. I like the sound of this unit. This unit sounds the most accurate so far in my opinion and it seems like it's a new unit for the game so. What about these switches? Should all be good. Okay so that stopped kinda quick. I'm not gonna give that one a pass. Uh, that's right, I forget. In this game, you can't be too close to it. That's something I'd like to see changed. What if you just got an ace engineer and he just got right past the uh, switch points, you know? That's definitely possible.
This unit sounds like a mix between a GP40 and a GP38. <laughs> but the sound itself sounds re like nice. It's coming, slowing down is a little, eh. Yeah, let's get that caboose, why not? Overall though, digging the graphics and the, just the visual of the game for sure. Sound effects like birds and stuff in the background seems pretty good too. See like that, there would be a little bit more of a run out unless these cars had air under them, which I doubt the game has air under these cars. Let's see about this. Okay, so it's like before, uncouple. Alright, let's gripper and ripper, huh? See if we can break something. Nope. What this reminds me of. Okay, now let's stop. This reminds me of is uh, like a gin set unit, like something that has very little power and is not responsive. Change control mode. So we got air. Let's try backing up. Alright, we got some wheel slip. I like that. Could really do without a. Could have some better sound effects for the wheel slip, but hey, it's not a big deal. Let's pull on the automatic. This would be called a, a light set or a. What else do they used to call it? Basically setting only like five to seven pounds of air. All right, I think it would stop a little sooner than that. All right, so let's see if we can grip it and rip it now that we're on. I think when we go to this control setting, it's more realistic physics. So, let's see. Same kind of slow wind up. Okay, so yeah, we're in the realistic physics right now. Okay. So a couple of things with this I'll kind of explain. I think the kind of 
make it in quotes more realistic they the when you throttle up it's not as responsive as from what I'm seeing or at least with this unit it could just be the locomotive for all I know but it's not as responsive because I think they're trying to create a more realistic thing because obviously in the real world you're not gonna go straight to run eight you're gonna be a lot more careful than that so having said that it's it definitely makes it smoother and more realistic from the point of like how you would run the train but in reality it kind of it just kind of shuts down a little bit of the train control of running a good train um, right like you want it it just makes it a little bit too easy in my opinion I'm trying to explain this the best I can I'm probably failing at it but um you know I want to be able to rip it up if I wanted to and hey maybe there's consequences like you get a knuckle you shear knuckle maybe you uh, derail I know you can derail in this game um, I don't need it to be more realistic from the sense of like them slowing down the game to make it seem more realistic I want it more realistic with the physics where you have to be smooth with the throttle and the brake where it's a little complicated to be switching so I don't know if you're trying to kind of be mindless and <clears throat> switch cars or just throttle straight up yeah I get it but uh, just not a fan of it myself Physics are definitely seem a little bit different. That was just a little test. I will definitely be going into the physics more in the future. So stay tuned. Hopefully next week we'll get another video or two out on this. Um, we're all really going in depth with like a full size train loaded, maybe a bunch of power on the head end, and we'll just we'll just try to test it. Test the brakes. Test the dynamics. Um, so yeah, overall though, um, for what I've seen today, I wouldn't be opposed to buy this game, um, and make some of my own routes and stuff like that. I, I, I think it's, so far it seems worth it in my opinion. I say that kind of hesitantly, but, um, you know, there's definitely more stuff when it comes to vehicles, there's definitely better graphics better track seems to run smooth already I know trains the new era came out it was not smooth it was glitchy so it seems pretty complete right off the get-go and um, yeah I, I really don't see anything too wrong with it other than the physics if they could make the physics more realistic I would be for I wouldn't probably play any other game but um Anyways, guys, comment what you think. Comment what you would like to see me test next time if I didn't get to it in this video. And uh, we'll check you guys later. Have a good one. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you.